Now on 18 Eyewitness News. Another winter storm moves through Missouri. And the next time you get your driver's license, you're going to see some changes. Plus, at chance at helping feed families. All of these stories are coming up. Some light snow on the way for your Wednesday. All the details coming up in your Storm Tracker weather forecast. Coverage you can count on. This is 18 Eyewitness News. Hello, everybody. I'm Fred Dawkins. Thanks for joining us. Here's the top stories that we're working on for you at this hour. Another major winter storm made its way through Missouri. Northern portions of the state received quite a bit of snow, while here in southeast Missouri we saw mostly rain with some sleet mixed in and light snow toward the end. Now this is the second major winter storm to hit the state in less than a week. Prior to the storm hitting the Missouri Department of Transportation, they advised drivers to stay off the roads in the snow impacted areas of the state. Well, now Dustin Kopp is here with a look at our first forecast. Dustin, what's it going to do? Good evening, Fred. Good evening, everybody. Looking at temperatures for this hour, we're ranging from 41 right now in Festus to southern portions of our viewing area in the upper 40s. Like in Cape Girardeau, 47, 45 in Poplar Bluff, 41 right now in Van Buren. Going through the evening hours, we're going to be seeing cloudy skies through most of the evening, 36 degrees at 7 p.m., down to 34 by 9. But by midnight, we could see a change over to some light snow or flurries with temperature of 32. More details on the snow coming up later in your Storm Tracker weather forecast. If you go to get your driver's license renewed for the first time, you're going to see some differences in the license itself. The Missouri driver's license has a new look and the way it's processed. Ted Farnan with the Missouri Department of Revenue tells 18 Eyewitness News that the new system is a centralized system. Farnan explains some of the differences you're going to see. People will notice two main changes. One is, is the look of the driver's license. It has some new safety features that will help make it less easy to duplicate by people who would want to forge it for obviously, you know, for identity theft purposes. Farnan says the other change is you won't be getting your actual license the day that you apply for it, but you could get a paper copy. You will then receive the actual license in the mail seven to ten days later. With the old system, there were nearly 200 locations to get a driver's license made, but now there will be just one central location. Charges against a Farmington woman accused of being part of a computer scam have been dropped because of not enough evidence to proceed. After hearing testimony from a Farmington police officer and Walmart employee, Associate Circuit Court Judge Wendy Wexler-Horn dropped the charges against Michelle Garrison. Prosecuting attorney Jared Mahiran explains to 18 Eyewitness News why the charges were dropped. As evidence began to unfold, we realized that there were more people involved than, than just her. And uh, as we went forward, uh, we got more information, but it also led us to have less uh, to do with, uh, with her. I mean, obviously, we felt like she was involved and, uh, and continued to think so. Now, during the hearing, Garrison's attorney, Lyndall Dunavan, said that she did not profit from the scam and said that it was clear she was the victim. Starting next Monday, the Big Springs Campground in the Ozark National Scenic Riverways will be undergoing a paving and culvert repair project. The campground will be closed for visitor safety. The job will restore existing paved roadway surfaces and replace the roadway culvert severely damaged during the 2011 floods. The work on the campground should be complete by May 23rd. If you'd like more information, visit our website, kdkz18.com and click on this story. And when we come back, a chance at helping feed families. That story coming up on 18 Eyewitness News. For 15 years, Heartland Furniture and Appliance has been the leader in price for restonic bedding. Whirlpool built Crossley Appliances, Frigidaire Appliances, Sofa Sets, Recliners, Accent Furniture, and White's Metal Detectors. Same day delivery with no waiting. We are fast becoming this area's leader in the home furnishing and appliance business. Need a little cash? Payday loans are available in each store. We'd love to have you come see us at one of our three locations. On both sides of Main Street in Piedmont, Business 60 in Dexter, and next to Current River Ford in Donovan. Heartland Furniture and Appliance, 223-3200.
can heat also be cool? When it comes from targeted induction technology, which uses electromagnetic waves to quick heat your pan, boiling up to 40% faster, while the surface around it stays perfectly cool to the touch. It's faster, hotter, and, well, cooler. Hi, Bob Seaball at Seaball Furniture and Appliance. Come and see this and other great features and benefits that will amaze you. Now on sale at Seaball Furniture and Appliance in downtown Fredericktown. You're watching 18 Eyewitness News with Fred Dawkins and Chief Weathercaster Dustin Kopp. 18 Eyewitness News continues. The second annual Feed the Families Bake Sale and Auction is just right around the corner. Chairperson Terry Moss tells 18 Eyewitness News how you can help. We need anyone to bake. They can bake cakes, pies, breads, cookies, pastries, any kind of baked good, what, and they can bring it the morning of or the, the evening before from 5 to 7, and it'll be placed in the appropriate booth. Proceeds from the event will go to the three food pantries in Madison County. The bake sale and auction will take place on Saturday, March 23rd at 8 o'clock in the morning at the National Guard Armory in Fredericktown. For more information, visit our website, kdkz18.com. 31-year-old Francis Deer of Bon Terre has been sentenced to 14 years in prison for violating her probation. Deer received probation for manufacturing methamphetamines and possession of a chemical with intent to make meth. Deer will spend the next 14 years in prison for possession of drugs. Fire crews spent their Monday afternoon battling a house fire located at the corner of 5th and Black Street in Chaffee. While fighting the fire, the roof collapsed in part of the two-story house. Both the Chaffee Fire Department and Police Department were at the scene. No word yet on the cause, and no one was injured. How much snow will we see here in southeast Missouri on your Wednesday? All the details coming up next in your Storm Tracker weather forecast. When someone comes in a mental area's emergency department, our focus is giving them the best treatment in the quickest manner possible. We track every single patient, sending the doctors information before they even walk in the room. We have dedicated x-ray and CT equipment in our emergency department. We don't have to waste any time running all over the hospital. We know that minutes count in an emergency, and you can count on ER Plus at Mineral Area Regional Medical Center. With extended hours, let the UPS store pack and ship your gifts. Hi, I'm Steve from the UPS store in Farmington, Missouri. Me and my staff would like to wish you and yours a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Now, here's your Storm Tracker 18 weather forecast with Chief Weathercaster Dustin Kopp. And welcome back. Let's take a look at weather headlines for Southeast Missouri. We're going to be seeing some light snow here in southeast Missouri tonight into tomorrow. Doesn't look too impressive. Doesn't look like we could see a lot, maybe a dusting or so. And temperatures are going to continue to be on the cold side throughout the area. And we're also going to see some sunshine finally returning for the weekend. Currently here in southeast Missouri, temperatures are in the 40s. 47 right now in Cape Girardeau, 44 in St. Genevieve, Fredericktown, 45. Further north you go, 41 in Festus and 43 right now in Potosi. Currently here at the studio, we're a little bit chillier at 36 degrees with cloudy skies. Feels like 28 out there. Current dew point 33, 88% humidity. West northwest wind at 11 miles per hour. On your Wednesday, we're going to be seeing some snow showers through southern portions of the Missouri area, possibly into Arkansas. It's not going to amount to much. However, northern portions of Missouri could see more added to what they've already seen today. For tonight, though, we'll see that change over to some light snow or flurries. 
30 degrees for your overnight low. West wind 10 to 15, ranging from 29 in Festus to 33 in Ironton and Poplar Bluff, 29 in Van Buren, 32 in Piedmont. Then for tomorrow, we'll see highs in the mid to upper 30s to near 40 degrees for most areas. 36 in Festus, 36 in St. Genevieve. Further south, you go a little bit warmer into the lower 40s with possibly some snow showers or flurries. Looking at the next several days throughout the area, on your Thursday, cloudy skies, 40 degrees. It's pretty much the same on Friday, a little bit chillier, and it's going to be a little windy for your Friday. Saturday and Sunday, we're on the cold side, especially on Saturday, high 35. Mostly sunny, though, partly the mostly sunny on Sunday, 42. Pretty much the same thing on Monday. Then on Tuesday, we have another chance of a wintry mix throughout southeast Missouri and a high of 49. Taking a look at that weekend forecast, once again, high of 35 on Saturday, low of 22, partly to mostly sunny skies. Same on your Sunday, however, a little bit warmer, temperature around 42. That's checking your storm tracker weather forecast. More details located at kdkz18.com. Just click on the weather tab. We'll be right back. Time now for our two-minute tour of Missouri. Due to the major snow that has moved through the state, about 30,000 people in northwest Missouri and northeast Kansas woke up without power on Tuesday. Kansas City Power & Light reported that just over 25,000 customers were without power Tuesday morning. The outages stretched throughout the utility service area from Emporia uh, all the way to Sedalia, but the highest number of outages was in the Kansas City metro area. Well, here's a nice birthday present. A St. Louis area man celebrated his 30th birthday by winning $2.2 million in the Missouri Lotto game. David Cadio Jr. of St. Peter's matched all six lotto numbers drawn on February 16th to win the prize just three days before his milestone birthday. Cadio is a business development manager. He plans to use the money to pay off debts, including his student loans, and invest in business opportunities. Springfield police have identified a man killed in a shootout as a recently released inmate. 29-year-old Martin Potts died Friday after shooting at officers, which one detective was grazed by a bullet. Potts had been released from prison in December after serving about six years of a nine-year prison sentence for kicking in his ex-fiancee's door and holding a knife to her throat. Court records say Potts told bystanders he would kill her if anyone called the police. Friday's shootout happened while police were investigating a string of commercial burglaries. A stolen truck that had fled from police was later located, and police followed footprints in the snow to a home. The shootout began while officers were executing a search warrant. And here's a heartwarming story. Billy Ray Harris, who frequently panhandles on Kansas City's Country Club Plaza, discovered a ring after Sarah Darling dumped spare change from her coin purse into his cup earlier this month. Now, earlier that day, she had taken off her ring and put it with the coins. After realizing what she had done, the Missouri woman returned to Harris and asked if he had the ring. He said yes, and he gave it back to her. Now the woman's fiancé has set up a website seeking donations for Harris. On Monday, people from around the world had donated more than $145,000. And still to come on 18 Eyewitness News, it's about much more than just losing weight. How bariatric surgery in teenagers could ultimately save lives. Coming up in Health News. I'm Stacy Johnson. I know that tax refund is burning a hole in your pocket. But don't go out and blow it just yet. At least not till you see the ideas I have. Just ahead on Money Talks News. Your health is brought to you by... Parkland Health Mart Pharmacy. If you or a loved one has been implanted with a pelvic mesh, commonly called a bladder sling, you may be entitled to a significant cash award. Many women implanted with this device have suffered discomfort, excruciating pain, and even incontinence. The FDA has even warned that pelvic meshes may cause serious injuries, including pain, scarring, infection, incontinence, and discomfort. If you or a loved one has been implanted with a pelvic mesh, call the Rely On Group at 800-796-6986. It's estimated nearly one out of five children and adolescents is obese in this country. 
Now that's three times as many as just a generation ago. Doctors say for those who are extremely obese, surgery may be the only viable option to lose weight and keep it off. And now a new study says that approach could be far more beneficial for teens than first thought. With details on how weight loss surgery can impact a teenager's heart, here's Clark Powell. J.C. Vermillion struggled most of her life to lose weight through diet and exercise alone, so like a growing number of teenagers, she had bariatric surgery and in just 90 days lost more than 70 pounds. It's made my life so much better. I'm happier and I'm getting to know more people and it's just changed everything. But J.C.'s life may have changed even more than she realizes. Before undergoing weight loss surgery, every teenager is put through rigorous testing. But in a recent study, researchers at Nationwide Children's Hospital took it a step further, doing sophisticated tests on the teenagers' hearts as well. What we found was uh, that the cardiac structure and function in these extremely obese adolescents scheduled for bariatric surgery was much more impaired than one might have thought. Working with fellow colleagues at The Ohio State University, doctors perform cardiac MRIs on teen patients, and while following 10 of them for a recent study, they found many had hearts that were larger and much less efficient than normal. But after weight loss surgery, that changed. Many of the abnormalities that we documented during the initial baseline study actually showed significant improvement after the weight loss had been obtained. In fact, the study found that enlarged hearts got smaller, blood flow improved in all the patients, and in 60% it completely normalized. Because they are young and rarely show cardiac risk factors, few patients like JC ever get high-tech heart testing before surgery, but this study may help change that. The bad news is that they probably are at more risk than most people had considered. The good news is that bariatric surgery definitely has the capacity to reverse some of this at least. At Nationwide Children's Hospital, this is Clark Powell reporting. Doctors do check the hearts of all patients before weight loss surgery, but most use ultrasound, which doesn't offer the same high quality images as a cardiac MRI. Even though this was a small study, the findings are significant. Many of the teenagers have hearts that look more like those of middle-aged patients, and researchers have never seen that before. The study is published in the Journal of Pediatric Surgery. So you've got that tax refund in your bank account. Now what? Before you make any big plans to spend it all, money reporter Stacy Johnson shows us how to make the most of the cash that Uncle Sam gives. I'm actually looking to get a new car. Yeah, I think I'm just going to save it. According to the IRS, the average tax refund last year was a little more than three grand. If you're expecting a big check this year, the temptation will be great to blow it. But if you're determined to use that refund wisely this year, what exactly can you do with it? Well, here are some ideas in no particular order. First, pay down high interest debt. Don't even think of spending that refund if you're carrying a balance on your credit card. Next, if you don't have an emergency fund with at least three months of living expenses, use that refund to start one. Tip number three, if you're gonna blow the money anyway, at least try to buy a memory. Don't just fritter it away, do something spectacular. Number four, help someone else. Donate to your favorite cause and get a deduction for next year, or use a loan website to help entrepreneurs around the globe. Number five, invest in yourself. Take a class or learn something that's going to make you more valuable or more productive. Final idea, use that refund as seed money for a side business. Find something that generates income and use your refund to get it up and running. And remember, while it's nice to get a refund, it could mean there's having too much withheld from your paycheck. You could get a W-4, raise your exemptions, and get more take-home pay with every paycheck. Just remember, if you do that, save that extra money. And if you need more ideas on what to do with your tax refund, just go to moneytalksnews.com and do a search for tax refund. For Money Talks News, I'm Stacy Johnson. Some good advice there, as Stacy said. He's got more information and links at his website. To get there, just go to our website, kdkz18.com, and click on the Money Talks link under the Lifestyles menu. And coming up in sports, Xavier Gooden was the star of the 40-yard dash on Monday. Adam Wainwright breezed right through his first two innings in spring training, and Steven Jackson may be voiding his contract coming up this year. It's all coming up here in Sports Zone. Tips to make you money delivered daily. The totally free Money Talks newsletter. Sign up now and get my money makeover video, a $50 value, as my gift. MoneyTalksNews.com. 
Attention, Accutane warning. If you have Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, or inflammatory bowel disease, it may have been caused by the acne drug Accutane. Accutane victims have recently been awarded millions of dollars. Do not delay. There are time deadlines to file a claim. Call the Rely On Group now to be connected with an experienced attorney. There is absolutely no risk on your part. You don't owe us a penny unless we are successful. Call the Rely On Group at 800-698-3105. If you have diabetes and you're on Medicare, call now to get the new talking meter. These new meters are more accurate, they're easier to use, and the best news is you don't have to prick your fingers anymore. Areva makes it simple. They bill Medicare directly. There are no upfront costs. And they deliver your supplies right to your door for free. For more information, go one. This is Sports Zone, only on 18 Eyewitness News. Missouri Tiger Xavier Gooden was the star of the linebacker 40 yard dash at the NFL Scouting Combine in Indianapolis on Monday. Gooden finished with the fastest time of 4.47 with the group. Gooden is already expected to be a second or third round pick, and most scouts are already saying he's going to be good for special teams early on in his career. It looks like Adam Wainwright breezed right through his first two innings and pitched well into the third, getting more work in. Wainwright threw 27 of his 48 pitches for strikes. He allowed four hits and struck out three in the Cardinals' 10-2 win over the Astros. The Cardinals' next game in spring training is this Wednesday against the New York Mets. And St. Louis Rams running back Steven Jackson will reportedly void his final year of his contract coming up on March the 12th. Jackson, who turns 30 this coming season, is going to be set to make $7 million. The former Oregon State star has spent his entire NFL career in St. Louis since the beginning of the draft in 2004. And that's today in sports. Fred and Dustin, guys, it's back to you. Thanks a lot, Aaron. Let's take a quick check of that forecast for the rest of this evening. Cloudy skies throughout southeast Missouri. 36 degrees at 7 p.m., 34 by 9. By midnight, we're down to 32 and possibly some snow, light snow showers, and some flurries throughout southeast Missouri. We will see that snow activity off and on for tomorrow. Doesn't look like it's going to be much here in southeast Missouri, but we'll, of course, keep you updated right here on 18 Eyewitness News. We hope you have a good evening. News watch us next. We'll see you back here tonight at 10 o'clock. When you see news happening in your area, let us know about it. You can call our news department at 573-701-9590 or email us at news at dawkinsbroadcastgroup.com. Coming up tonight on KDKZ Channel 18.